What would you have to say about the wokeism that's infiltrating the school systems? 90% of our American kids are now under critical race theory. And what that means is if a little girl goes into kindergarten, if she's white, you're telling her she's bad. If she's brown or black, you're telling her she's never going to be good enough and she's always going to be a victim. And that's wrong. You're right, Nikki. What you just said is absolutely wrong. As a matter of fact, it's bull****. Where does she get her definition of woke and CRT from anyway? When we what talk does that about mean to you? Could, could, would you mind defining woke? Because it's come up a couple times and I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So, I mean, woke is sort of the idea that... Um, I... This is going to be one of those moments that goes viral. I guess running for president causes you to think that woke means segregation and racists are unifiers. The idea that we are dividing our children based on race, based on religion, based on all of these things, that's not what was supposed to happen. No, it was not supposed to happen, but it did. Not under some uh, woke mob that conservatives invented just a few years ago, but under rabid, vicious racists. One of the main forms of racial discrimination and segregation is in the school systems. For many years, whites protested the integration of schools. There are many rallies, protests, and riots both for and against school integration. The idea that we are dividing our children based on race, based on religion, based on all of these things, that's not what was supposed to happen. Uh, Nikki Haley must have missed that very complicated uh, history lesson. But uh, once schools were actually desegregated, everything was great, right? Especially in Nikki Haley's home state of South Carolina. Many states disregarded the new law in hopes that they would just be overlooked and get to keep their conservative ways. South Carolina was one of these states. Uh, South Carolina comes to racial integration certainly in education rather late. The roots of the Brown versus Board of Education decision are right. here in South Carolina. And the roots for that case go back to about 1949 or so. But you really don't have racial integration in schools here until 1963. So in that, in that regard, uh, South Carolina uh, actually comes to school integration um, through a very uh, difficult path no, it's pretty obvious that Nikki Haley thinks that appealing to the most blatantly false and dangerous forms of rewriting our history will light her path to the presidency. No matter how uh, woke the truth is, that must be why they're waging a war against it.